we saw this billowing of yellow, dark smoke in the air, and we're wondering to ourselves, like, that's in our area. We're staying in the Latin Quarter, which is where the Notre Dame is. And as we moved closer, we just saw crowds and crowds of people with their phones out. So we turned the corner and saw smoke coming not from the bell tower, but from the back of the Notre Dame. And then everyone's hearts just dropped and everyone stopped to watch what was going on. The entire tone of the city right now could not be more heartfelt with just grief and distraught and emotion for, for what's watch, what we're all watching right now all over the world. When we saw it, we were seeing the beginnings of it and what I think the emergency personnel had the most difficult time doing was trying to move the crowds away from the center area where it's located. You'll notice how the streets have started to fill and you can hear the sirens in the area. The fire originally started right around this area here and it's continued to move throughout the Notre Dame. That smoke has been billowing and billowing and what we both realized, my husband and I, is as the emergency teams are trying to get closer and closer, they just can't get close enough. They did have um, one of their trucks right here spraying in this direction, but we're also dealing with extreme winds, which you can really see it blowing the smoke as well. Uh, we are right at our balcony watching this go on and Matt, you, would you say it's probably been going on for at least 25 to 30 minutes? At least 40 minutes. And now we're just watching this happen. It was just completely disheartening and emotional. And you can feel the emotion and the shock in the air. Oh, oh my gosh. It looks like what... It looked to, it was a point, a back point that it, oh my gosh, I'm like sick to my stomach right now. It was a back point that just completely collapsed now the entire roof. Yuki and Alex, you know, the sights of the people in the streets and the smell of smoke in the air is still there, but the sight of the fire in the Notre Dame is starting to slowly calm more and more. Uh, let me stand up to give you a better vantage point and I'll turn you around. I'm currently on a balcony about a hundred from the Notre Dame and you'll notice the two bell towers there the belly of the fire inside of the church still going by the amber blaze and the smoke that you can see rising. However, this is the best that we have seen it. What I'm also looking at is at least one, two, three, four, five, six uh, sprays of water hoses, lights even within the bell towers as well as there are some emergency personnel inside the building as well, trying to get as much control over it as possible. But but what couldn't be more contagious is the prayer and singing from the streets beneath it. And on this side of the Seine River, you'll notice hundreds of people, if not so many more that you can't even see, are in support of this monument and of not wanting to see the destruction that is happening to it. And they're singing songs of honor. I had posted a Facebook Live uh, earlier on my Facebook page uh, describing the music and letting some of that music play, some of that singing. And uh, one of our viewers had mentioned that it could quite possibly be the Ave Maria in French. But live from Paris, you are watching some of that fire slowly start to disintegrate and we are all praying that this ends very very shortly as i think all of us can agree from around the world it has been way too long and we cannot wait to see the end of this fire in sight so still we will have the notre dame to be able to hold on to to visit to remember and still see it standing